you can get some electric current by shoving a pair of electrodes into a potato. This is a very minuscule source of energy that can barely power a calculator. But by using a fancy new energy harvesting chip and a supercapacitor, it should be possible to make something more fun. I've scavenged a pair of wheels from a toy and a pair of motors from a CD drive and I've attached it all to a potato. The energy harvester will collect the electrochemical energy and very slowly build it up in a capacitor. And now, after a certain voltage is reached... <laughs> we get the world's first self-driving potato. It's not particularly fast. It takes approximately 15 minutes to charge the capacitor and after that it rides for about 8 centimeters. That averages out to a whopping speed of 7.5 meters per day. But the bigger problem is, this design always drives in a straight line. It doesn't allow the potato to choose where it wants to go. I think potatoes deserve to roam around freely and see the world, like cows or chickens or other kinds of food. That's why I decided to bestow on this potato the gift of freedom. I've added a second motor and I've also added this control board. I wrote a simple script that allows the potato to choose the direction of movement. Imagine that it's a virtual arrow that's spinning and the potato gets to say stop through the electrodes. The control board will then power the motors towards that direction and the cycle repeats. At first it behaved chaotically, it would spin around in circles pretty much randomly. But after a while I noticed that it would enjoy riding into the sun and sitting there, kind of like a cat. That's why I decided to give it a name, Pontus, and adopt it as a house pet. I quickly befriended Pontus the potato as he would follow me around my apartment all day. Well actually he would just ride around randomly and I would just try not to step on him, but at least I didn't have to feed him or empty any litter box. But after a couple of days, something weird happened. Pontus would appear to be very interested in my oven. I had a theory, so I quickly built a ramp to test it, and unfortunately it seemed like I was right. Pontus felt a destiny that he needed to fulfill. I couldn't dare to stop him, so I did what had to be done. So I guess that's the end of the story of Pontus the Potato. I tried to play God, but I ended up baking my best friend. I'm not sure what the lesson here is, but thanks for watching anyway. <laughs>